Good morning and welcome to Thorpe Park. It's Love Island Lakes and the park's open until 10 o'clock this evening. All throughout summer the park is open on Thursdays, Fridays and Saturday nights uh, from 10 in the morning until 10 at night so you can't complain about that. Really good opening hours. It's going to be an absolute scorcher today, about 29 degrees as well, uh, which means it's going to be perfect for getting on lots of rides. I'm here today with Alex and Krista and uh, yeah along with that we're going to experience of course the year of the walking dead and the different things going on for that including uh, the zombie hunt which uh, we'll check out later on I'll talk a little bit about it. Of course we'll go around the park get plenty of off-ride footage of some of our favorites here probably do a few water rides today as well the rapids tidal wave I've not been on it all season yet so I really want to get on tidal wave today. Uh, some of my favorites here of course the swarm, stealth and uh, yeah going around all the other coasters here as well. We're going to start off over at the Walking Dead the ride it's just gone 10 o'clock and uh, yeah we're going to be here for the full day all 12 hours we'll check out the Love Island stuff which is over on the beach as well uh, I believe they've got like a bar and stuff there and later on tonight a bit of music playing it looks like quite a nice chilled atmosphere and uh, so we're not really in that much of a rush today we'll take it quite chilled out and uh, yeah head over there and uh, see that a little bit later on but we're going to start off on Walking Dead the ride because obviously Krista's not done it yet she didn't even do it as X actually she's only ever been to Thorpe Park once so she needs to get the coaster cred and uh, we'll come off that make our way around the park maybe go over to Colossus that's normally quite a good one to do early in the day head over to Swarm Island do that Stealth Nemesis Inferno saw the ride and of course all the different flats and uh, water rides as well gonna be a good day it's August 2018 and welcome to Love Island Lakes here at Thorpe Park After a little bit of a longer wait than anticipated, we got on the Walking Dead the ride. No actors at the end though, even though we were told that there was going to be some. But uh, yeah, we went on. Krista braved it in the end. She was a little bit scared, but uh, she went on. I'm proud. And she's wearing her icon hat today as well. They look good in the sunshine. Colossus, of course, running around there. Alex, you look uh, quite well today, I must say, in the beautiful weather. Are you mugging me off? What's that? Are you mugging me off? What? what? Are you mugging me off? Don't you know who I am? No. I'm Alex from Love Island. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Hang on, let's keep walking. What? Keep walking. No, keep talking about Colossus. Nice, yeah. yeah. Alright, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, that's our next ride, Colossus. Oh, I've got sex! <laughs> I love it. But, uh, all these Love Island puns. I can't say I've ever watched it. At least it's not muggy today, is it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I've never watched it, so I wouldn't know. But uh, yes, we're going on Colossus in this beautiful weather. For me, this coast, I really enjoy it, actually. I think a lot of people give it a lot of stick. Am I getting a pay rise for this? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might give you a chip. Look at I, when I buy like some food later, I'll give you a chip. Look what it's done to me. Like, oh my God. It looks like, just lean up, face like the track. It looks like he's got a big rash or something. I think I might be allergic to your fake tan. Have you put that on just for today? Yeah. Just because it's Love in. Island Lakes here at Thorpe Park. Right. But uh, yeah, right. Anyway, we've not mentioned enough. It is Love Island Lakes, but we're going on Colossus. Let's go. <laughs> So we had a good ride just down Colossus on the front row, waited about 40 minutes for the pleasure. And uh, yeah, we're here with James today. And uh, yeah, he's wearing jeans and you've got a hoodie. <laughs> James, it, it's gonna be 29 degrees later I on. No, it was the only jacket that I had that was clean. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be absolutely baking later on. Like, I dread to think, like, you've got your jeans on, it's crazy. How was your ride with me down the front it row was, of Colossus? It was amazing, it was a lot smoother than usual. It was quite smooth, wasn't yeah. it? I was quite impressed with that. And uh, the reason that I've stopped just here in the Colossus shop is just to talk about this, really. Because you can now, uh, well, you order your photos just here and you can pay. And then I assume you just go and collect it just over there. Obviously, the photos are operated by Pixel at the Merlin Parks. And uh, yeah, it seems like quite a good system, really. I, I assume you just sort of touch the screen, look through your photo, pay for it, and then go and collect it over there. I think I've got that right, I know you do collect it from you, don't you? 
Well, there you go, a new system, and I think this has been installed on a few different rides here at the park, and I'm sure we'll see it across the uh, other Merlin parks at some point too. Right, let's go to our next ride. so it's just gone 12 o'clock and it is scare maze time you might be thinking hang on a minute sean it's august it's not halloween yet but if you do love your halloween thrills then uh, get yourself out of the thought park this summer because we're about to go in uh, the, one of the walking dead mazes living nightmare and uh, it did actually open back in february where they did an extreme version i heard that there was over 30 actors in there making it a really intense attraction unfortunately i couldn't actually get down here to thought park uh, be quiet, Colossus Lift Hill. I do love it though. But uh, yeah, we couldn't actually make it down here in May to come and see it because it did only run for a limited time. But uh, yeah, it is actually open over summer. Opens at 12 o'clock. And did it shut at 6, did we say? Yeah, so it's not open all the way through until uh, 10 o'clock. But this is open daily. Obviously, the Love Island event is only on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Uh, this is open daily throughout the summer holidays. So it's well worth coming here to check out. And of course, I can't film inside, but we'll talk a little bit about it when we come out and see how it differs to uh, when we last did it. Which was at Fright Nights last year and obviously it's going to be back for Fright Nights this year as well. Uh, just worth pointing out, you saw a couple of shots just when we were walking up the queue line. It's actually using the old slammer queue line now instead of down the side just here where he was before, which in my opinion makes it a much more pleasant queuing experience. And uh, as much as it makes me sad because we used to queue down here to go on slammer, uh, but you saw some shots. They've got a few bits of theming that used to be used for the big top uh, scare attraction that have been put around. And also they've even themed up like the operator's cabin for slammer as well and put like a tin can uh, thing on there which looks really nice actually so uh, yeah at least they've made some effort and made the queue line themed as well and it sort of makes it feel like an old sort of carnival a disused carnival because you've got slammer still sat there as well but uh, yeah anyway we're gonna go in here and we'll uh, see when we come out are you ready I'm yeah gonna, <laughs> here I'm we go gonna do my best digging impression go on man well Sean you know what it's actually quite good it's time to experience the walking dead at Thorpe Park Resort and Spa Spa we'll see you when we come out <laughs> we've just come out of the walking dead living nightmare and uh, yeah pretty much from what i remember from it it's halloween really uh, quite a lot of actors in there they're here theme park worldwide on youtube check it out but uh yeah pretty much from what i remember at halloween maybe about 10 12 actors in there start us off obviously with ne negan his name isn't it yeah the negan character yeah and obviously he's got like his baseball bat does his little he had a big spiel sword today yeah it's weird isn't it like i thought it was a little bit different to last time i don't know a lot about the the, the Walking Dead and all that sort of stuff. But, Can I ask you a uh, question, Mark? We're just right here. How wet do you like to get on a water slide? A lot. Like, wet, 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 wet. Wet, wet, wet? Yeah. That's a good idea. That'd be a yeah. good name for a water yeah, slide. Yeah, it would, right? And that's why it's called it up there. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, it was enjoyable, wasn't it? Like, just as I remember it from Halloween, I wouldn't say it was any better than at Halloween. I wouldn't say it was any worse. It was just, as I remember oh, it, oh. yeah, it's a nice themed attraction. But uh, yeah, there was a couple of actors at the end who recognised me from the video. So hi out there to you and thanks for a very, very good scare at the end there. Uh, you were brilliant. But uh, I won't go into too much detail about the attraction, but it is very well themed. You've got quite a lot to look at as you're going around as well. Lots of soundtracks, uh, quite intense experience overall, oh, isn't it? Sorry, really? I've got a text. Oh, here we go. He's still doing these Love Island jokes. But uh, talking of the island, we're going over to Swarm Island now for my favourite ride here at Thorpe Park. And now my number two roller coaster uh, here in the UK I'm after Icon at uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Of course, it is the Swarm. And uh, what a perfect day for it today. The sun is shining down here at Thorpe Park. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great Sounds ride. Like, sounds like it's PPI. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've had enough of PPI, I tell you. Let's go on Swarm. Just noticed over here at the Swarm, 
Yeah. Then you got some uh, free sunscreen as well. Come on, put some on. There what? What do you mean? There's no... Oh, the sea's topping up. But yeah, I did see that on the social media. It's in a few different locations around I'm the park. I'm going to use my acting ability to pretend I have sunscreen on my hand. There you go. Oh, you're wiping your fake tan off. Be careful. Yeah. <laughs> But so yeah, I have seen the providing it around the park. That's a really good thing actually that Thought Park are doing. I wish that more theme parks would do that actually. And it's uh, SPF 30, just so you know as well. But uh, yeah, free of charge. I think that's a really nice service by the park really. All right, let's go. Right then, down into Old Town now, where it's time to experience a new attraction for summer 2018 here at Thorpe Park. And it is called Zombie Hunt. And it actually runs on the back end of the park, where the train line used to run actually, all the way up to Thorpe Farm. And you exit uh, down towards I'm a Celebrity. And uh, yeah, this is the entrance to it just here. It's a free attraction to go in, but you do actually need to come and collect a timed ticket for this one. So don't just turn up at the entrance and expect to be able to join the queue. It is quite limited tickets. And uh, let you come here to the entrance and they'll give you one of these little uh, tickets that you can see just here. And uh, yeah, it gives you a time slot. Ours is for two o'clock, which is coming up shortly. But uh, let's have a little look through this just so we can see a bit about the uh, attraction itself. As you can see just here on the old Loggers Leap station, it would have been a lovely day for Loggers Leap today. You can see just there, you've got a few different zombies. This hasn't actually got anything to do with The Walking Dead, but uh, yeah, obviously they look quite similar. All zombies look similar, don't they, really? Got a uh, chainsaw down there, look. Lumberjack, difficulty 10 out of 10. Chainsaw, armpits, tip. Take the chainsaw to make them mad. So basically with this, it's like a, it's like Laser Quest, isn't it? But yeah. outside, I'm imagining. I just noticed, sorry, I'm, I'm such a gramophone. Look at this. Oh no, the actor sets all pro Has that been put on afterwards as well, that, that S or oh, not? Or has it been printed? No, no, it's not. It's not. It's but uh, yeah, a horde of zombies has invaded the woodland on the outskirts of Old Town. We need your help to hunt them down before we have an epidemic on our hands. Grab your laser blasters and join the cause in this interactive battle for survival. Yeah, again, I can't film inside this one, but we'll talk a little bit about it when we come out, which we believe, like I say, is down by I'm a Celebrity, just next to there. There you go. The conductor. So, so yeah, it's basically the difficulty on how hard it is to shoot them, basically. Looks like we're going to have some nice uh, costumes and makeup in here, though. If it looks anything like the photos, I think it'll be quite good. I'm going in like I don't really know anything about this one. I'm looking forward to it. Chris is not coming in. Uh, oh. You don't like Halloween, do you? You don't like any of these scare attractions. Rocky Express running nice there as well. Not been on that for a while. Never done it. Have you not? Well, that's to go on. He's playing no music though today. He used to play a really nice soundtrack. So, James is coming in with us, aren't you? Yeah. You're coming in for the scares. Let's do it. Let's go, yeah, and we're entering in just here by, well, next to where the old Loggers Leap entrance was. So we'll, uh, yeah, see you when we come out. Okay then, so we just come out of Zombie Hunt, and uh, yeah, I really wasn't quite expecting that actually. It was a really enjoyable attraction. Don't get me wrong, you could tell that it had been done on a bit of a budget in terms of a lot of old props and theming from around Thorpe Park, all brought together to create the attraction. But uh, God, I thought they did a really good job with that. I just wasn't expecting it to be anything anywhere near as detailed, was you? No, I think uh, for those who have been to Thought Park a lot over the years, you notice a lot of really old uh, theming that was used in a lot of other attractions and scare attractions from over the years. So a bit of a throwback for the enthusiasts, but also for members of the public, what a great free attraction it is. I think it's 
very, very yeah, impressive. What, about job. eight to ten actors throughout. Yeah, maybe. and about a ten minute experience, story led, and you kind of left your own creative freedom with it. So it was quite fun actually. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah really I was good. surprised at how much theming there was in there. Like I say, you could tell it being on a budget. There was things like toilets and basins chucked at the side, uh, a few old props and former scare attractions and things. And it's clear that they've just had a bit of you know spare money and thought, you know what, let's do something for the summer. It takes queues away from some of the rides, adds to the park experience, and uh, yeah, I'm really actually quite impressed impressed with that I'd give that a good solid 7 out of 10 from me really nice attraction obviously yeah you can't really see that well unless you hold the gun up here because you can obviously see like the little red dot where you need to be shooting but so uh, yeah literally the actors were just wearing like a necklace really or like an armband round which had the targets on and you just shot them it's quite easy to, to shoot them really just a good fun attraction and then at the end there wasn't just one chainsaw there was actually two chainsaws really good actors on there actually came running towards us uh, no indoor sections or tunnels or anything like that uh, it was literally all outside the only I say no tunnels the only tiny little bit was towards the end where one of the tunnels from platform 15 was used just there to take us to that uh, chainsaw finale but uh, no full credit to Thorpe Park I think they've put on something really good there and I don't know if we're going to see that come back for Fright Nights there or in another form but I'd like to see that at night wouldn't Can you? I start by saying it nice and early and I was actually quite sceptical about the event at first the Love Island Lakes they opened until 10 o'clock because I thought oh what if there isn't enough to do to fill you know 12 hours of the ride time and actually I take that opinion back I think you know if you come on a Thursday especially with the Love Island thing really good time you get the evening to enjoy on the beach a really nice atmosphere for DJ but throughout the day it's a nice warm day the park is really busy and there's some new attractions that you're only getting for the summer which I think really make it yeah. kind of value for money even if you're an annual pass holder I think it's really worth doing yeah I agree we may as well say because Alex just touched on it there basically with the Love Island we didn't realise earlier on you do actually need a separate ticket to go onto the beach after 6 o'clock but on a Thursday uh, annual pass holders do actually get that for free but you don't on the Friday and Saturday but it's worth pointing out if you are buying a day ticket on the door any of the days, uh, well, Thursday, Friday, uh, Saturday, you do get into the Love Island bit for free. So it's one of those, I didn't see it advertised that much, that one. I'd say that's my only criticism with it all, really. But uh, the fact that doing the 10 o'clock closes three nights a week is fantastic. It's two scare attractions open, along with the rest of the rides. I think it's a really good summer event, actually, and uh, having a good time so far. I enjoyed that, and uh, can't stress enough, if you like that sort of thing, whether you like Laser Quest or scare attractions, come out to Thorpe Park and see that. I think you'll really enjoy it. The costumes are great acting quality was good and a nice overall attraction but uh, time for a bit of coaster action now another B&M here at the park we're going on Nemesis Inferno so we'll see you after we come off Then, Krista, you've just come off your first ever ride on Nemesis Inferno, the 2003 BNM Invert. What did you think of that beautiful coaster? My favourite bit was the pre drop. The pre drop? Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, I mean, that's about right, don't you? The pre drop. Here's the best bit. She said that the mist was also calling on a hot day. Uh, the mist was nice, nice, wasn't it? And it was all on in the queue line, I have to point out. Thought did a good job. Well, at, least, at least you enjoyed something. Yeah, well, the pre drop is probably my highlight of the ride, too. Yeah. And uh, we, we did a front row ride and we waited about an extra five minutes for the front. Yeah. Are, we, so, are we doing, are we doing? I thing? think we're going to go into the jungle, mate. We'll have a look at the queue, see what it is. I mean, Antunda, uh, what do you think? To, do you like uh, Inferno? Uh, yeah, it's a really good B&M Invert. I've got to say, the only boring part is the fact that it's got three corkscrews in it. Yeah, the same sort of version. quite a good thing about it. As you come down to it before you actually do the loop, you've got the little uh, water spout that jumps out. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's so, nice, isn't it? And that was broke for a little while. Yeah, so it's nice how they nice got that back in action. Thorpe are really good actually. I was saying off camera earlier on how they're quite good at fixing the Am I the king? What's that? Am I the king? King of the jungle? Yeah. Well, that fake town, I don't think so well, today. I was yeah. the oh, oh. Wait, where's Christy gone? I can't see her. But, oh, she's there, it's all right. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed the pre drop oh, on Inferno. Thanks. I'm glad you enjoyed it. There you go. Nemesis for the win.
Okay then, so we've done a couple more rides since I last spoke to you guys. We went on Saw the Ride, the 2009 Gerslauer Eurofighter, and uh, sat on the, on the second dispatch on the front row on the second seat in, so the oh, inner seat. Always, always and uh, seat. yeah, it was better, it was it's more comfortable actually, uh, being on the inner seat. Uh, Krista was on the other inner seat, and Alex went for it and uh, was brave, sat on the outside. Yeah, the great ride. And uh, <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, it just seems to get worse in terms of the, the sheer roughness of that ride. But uh, I don't enjoy it loads, but we did wait about an hour for the pleasure. An hour, yeah. It, uh, it did advertise that the queue was going to be about 50 minutes, and then there was a stoppage for about 10 minutes because of queue jumpers. Uh, but at least they did get that sorted out, you know. I'm not too sure why they had to stop the ride operations themselves because of queue jumpers. Uh, you'd have thought someone would have just come down and moved them off. But at the I've end of the day... Text. Oh, here we go, he's going again. But uh, yeah, at least they got it sorted out. And it's good to see that Thorpe Park uh, uh, are helping sort of get rid of the queue jumpers out the lines and sort it out. And I assume security came down and, uh, and did yeah, that, really. Yeah, but yeah, it's good. Overall, I'm impressed with what we've seen at Thorpe Park today. And we've not even seen the main event, so to speak, which I'm looking forward to seeing the atmosphere on the beach with the DJs. There's like cocktail bars and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I look forward to seeing the atmosphere up there later on. But uh, gonna head down now. It's coming up to tea time. Gonna get some food, probably gonna go to the chip shop. Uh, over near Stealth because I really fancy that. I had a lunchbox earlier on. on. Is it not on? No. You're joking? It's been closed all day. What? Stealth's been closed. Oh, it's I thought you were about all... the chippy. Oh, no, I'm not bothered about Stealth. Oh, my chip shop. Oh, no. oh God. <laughs> oh, you're getting your heart attack then. God, they're going to say I need me battered sausage. God, oh, James, <laughs> you upset battered... me then. He upset oh. me. But uh, yeah, <laughs> a new chip shop. And uh, yeah, I'm more, is it bad that I'm more gutted that the chip shop was closed oh, than stealth? stealth Maybe yeah. because I'm really fancying a chip shop. I've done stealth a lot. It's very nice you know. chippy, I must say. Yeah, it's, it's, nice. it, yeah, it's all right, isn't it? I hope stealth does open though, mainly because Chris has not been on that either. She's only been to Thorpe Park once before, bless her. So it is once, isn't it? Once, yeah. Once, nice. yeah. Last time. Quite nice. Right, so once, hopefully so. it might open later on so we can get it. But uh, if not, I'm sure that we'll be back at some point and you can get the cred another sign with that one but uh, yeah we'll go to the chip shop and I might even treat you all to a bit of Sean's food review so we'll see you over there here we go then got a nice battered sausage and chips there the uh, price for them in here you can't actually see them today because the screens are off over there but uh, yeah £7.95 but with my annual pass uh, for that and a drink it was about six pound fifty, so not too bad. Tastes quite nice. That good seven out of ten. How's yours? All right. Yeah, mine's really good. Uh, got myself a nice hot dog. Oh, you, there you, are. you got that just from down there in the Angry Birds section, didn't you? Just down there. Um, cost me seven pounds, but with my annual pass discount, uh, it was five pounds six. Oh, that's all right. That. What was give it out of ten? Uh, Sorry, 9.5. 9.5? Whoa! That's what that is. Yeah, yeah, mine's a good selling. Chris has been to Burger King, where you don't get your discount, unfortunately. But uh, there you go. Yeah, we've got no screens in action over here. And there's a bit of a shortage on uh, on salt and vinegar at the and moment. And food. Yeah, there's a bit of a shortage on everything in here today, isn't there, really? But I suppose they weren't expecting to be too busy. So like we mentioned just stealth, it's closed. It was closed all day yesterday. And uh, yeah, it's been closed all day today as well. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'll probably grab another drink. I think it's unlimited refills in it. I mean, they give you a cup and then you fill it up yourself. So I don't know, there's no one, there's no sign saying you can't. So I'll probably have another drink and we'll go and do a bit more exploring. Here we go then, after a nice bit of food over at the chippy. Time to fly with a fish. Here we go. A Thought Park Class 8 that used to be located over where Stealth was built in 2006. So the flying fish went away for a little while and then they brought it back and put it in its new location just here. And obviously in 2012 they built Swarm Island just behind it. You got this little Mack Ride power coaster just here. The nice big B&M behind it, the Swarm. Let's go and fly with a fish. Oh yeah. There we go. Just the two laps today. Sometimes you get three, maybe even four, depending on how the operator feels, but it is quite busy. We've got a bit of a queue for the fish today. Yeah. 
Okay then, so it's just gone around 20 to 7, meaning that we're about 40 minutes in to the Love Island Lakes event here at Thorpe Park. Like I say, this is running every Thursday, Friday and Saturday, all the way through the summer holidays. And uh, yeah, here's a little look at the setup. It's using all the beach area that of course has been here for many years at Thorpe Park. But as you can see, they've added a few new bits around. And uh, yeah, they've allowed photos and video around here now uh, during these nights as well from 6 till 10, which means that a lot of people can make new memories and sit down on the beach with the families and uh, teens can sit down a few drinks. It's nice, it's got a very good atmosphere around here. And uh, over at the back there, you've got like those beach huts that have been added. I believe that you can actually hire those and uh, they do like ride packages and things. Obviously at the left hand side there, you can see they've got like them archways. And uh, over at the back just there, you can see there's a bit of a queue going on at the moment. Uh, that's because they've got different stars of Love Island that are here at different times. And uh, I've not watched it, I don't really know much about it at all. But uh, other than what Alex has been joking about today. But uh, yeah, there's someone here from Love Island tonight who's uh, over there doing a bit of a meet and greet at the moment. But uh, yeah, they're using it on both sides. I can't help but feel it would have been nice if maybe one side was for families and the other side was for adults. I think that might have worked better just to separate it up a bit. But uh, still, there's quite a few different bars and the atmosphere is really good over there. You can see you've got a DJ set up with a couple of lights and stuff over in that far corner. And uh, yeah, you've got these tents up here, sponsored by Schweppes by the looks of it. But they've got family entertainment going on here as well. They've got face painting. Obviously, you can get some hot food down there, Ben and Jerry's. It's been perfect weather for an ice cream today. But I really like this, what they're doing here. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a Europa Park style setup. Obviously, Europa Park in Germany are quite famous for doing lots of different events. And uh, yeah, this is great to see when you've got the likes of Alton Towers that closed nearly an hour ago and it's shutting at six all summer, yet Thorpe are opening three days a week till 10 o'clock and running events. Like you've seen all the stuff from The Walking Dead, what we've seen today. Obviously we did the little zombie walkthrough, which was really good. And obviously they've got this going on as well. As much as I'm not a massive fan of Love Island, I like how the park are trying different things. And yeah, it's nice how they've got all the different bars and stuff. I can imagine if you live quite local, you just come down here, you haven't really gone on any rides in particular. Just come and chill out down here. There's like a big spin the bottle over there, which I, can, I assume you can sit on and spin round. So I might have a go at that. But uh, yeah, I think me and Alex are gonna go and have a little paddle anyway. We brought our swim shorts. Obviously quite a big setup. We've got all the truss and stuff there. Hey, hey Bottle Wine! Check hey. it out, are you having a good time? Having a great You're time. You're not going for a paddle? I oh, will be, up to you in a bit. Hey, see you later. But uh, yeah, it's got a really nice atmosphere down here. But uh, yeah, go and find the guys. They're somewhere over here on the beach. Like I say, all this exists throughout the year. But uh, they're just added to it, really. No, I don't think I've ever been down here before. Like I say, you can't normally film down here during the uh, normal operating day. So, yeah, chill out zone, the Echo Fall, nice. Watch your head under it. Whoop. There we are. That's yeah, lovely. Right, we're gonna have a little paddle, I think. Let's go. I'll tell you what, the atmosphere is absolutely fantastic tonight here at Thorpe Park. Over on the beach there, really enjoyed that. It was just nice and chilled out. The music playing, the DJ was actually really good on there as well. And I didn't have a drink on there, so I'm not too sure about the prices. But uh, yeah, there was quite a few different options and soft drinks, alcoholic drinks, something for everyone on there. Really nice feel to it. Then my only improvement really, one thing from that, it would have been nice if they'd have split up maybe the kids on one side and the, an adult section on the other side maybe. But it certainly didn't really take away from it much. Hey, three bottle of wine. It certainly didn't take away from it really. Um, you know, it really added to it. Like just having the, the DJ and the general atmosphere out there. Hey, I love it. But, uh, yeah, it was great. How you doing? You alright? You having a good time? Anyway, we're getting on rush, 10 minute wait. We've just done Quantum. Me and Krista are just doing these ones, a bit of a flat ride session. I love a good flat ride. And Krista's never had the pleasure of experiencing most of these at Fort Park. So it's her first time on this one, the uh, SNS Swing. And uh, yeah, known as Rush, so we'll see you afterwards and we'll let you know what she thinks to it. I think you'll enjoy this one. It's a bit of a short one again, but uh, yeah, let's go.
Oh, the atmosphere is fantastic tonight here at Thorpe Park. We've been playing a bit of normal music around the park now, which adds to that summer vibe. I wouldn't want that all the time, but with it being the summer event here at the park, it really adds to it. But uh, yeah, went on uh, Quantum, like I say, first, then we did Rush. Just saw that off-ride footage of it in the sunset, which was really nice. But uh, yeah, Chris's first time, it wasn't the best cycle, was it? No, I knew you brought them water, yeah, well, yeah. they were very good. But uh, yeah, it. yeah, like flats are flats. At the end of the day, at least Thorpe Park's got a good variety of flat rides. And uh, yeah, we're going on Vortex now. So I'll show you a little bit of off-ride footage of this one in action. But uh, yeah, I think we're on the wrong side. There you go, Re. Check it out, Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. Check it out. But uh, yeah, I think with that one, we'll I have to go on again at some point and uh, sit on the other side. But uh, things with Rush, it never runs as good as it used to when it first opened. It's getting on a bit now. But uh, yeah, so have a bit of Vortex, a bit of KMG action. <laughs> We had a fantastic ride there on Vortex. That was running brilliant, actually. It was the best flat ride out of the three that we did there. But uh, yeah, just gonna get a bit emotional with you now, really, and just say that, you know, it feels like Thought Park's really got that magical vibe to it this evening. And seeing the coasters with the sunset just behind them, the swarm just over there, a uh, fantastic couple of rides on that earlier on. Stealth in the, dif in the distance. It's a shame that it uh, has been closed today, but I believe they've just replaced the launch cable, uh, hence why that is uh, still short, but hopefully that'll be ba back open soon. But uh, yeah, just seeing the silhouette of Stealth and obviously the swarm, which is just going round again there, makes you realise how lucky we are to have these parks here in the UK, and especially here with the fantastic skyline, a brilliant amount of coasters, and I really just hope in the next couple of years, we get a brand new coaster here at Thorpe Park, which will even bring even more spark to the park. And uh, yeah, just looking at it, it's gorgeous, it really is. What a beautiful setting. Just walking down then onto Swarm Island to do our last few rides of the night. There's about an hour left, so I'm hoping to get a few rides on the Swarm. My favourite coaster here at the park, and uh, like I say, my second favourite overall roller coaster in the UK, just behind Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And if you've not seen much about Icon, go and check out all our different content that's been put on uh, throughout the year here on our YouTube channel. We was there for the media day, of course the opening as well, and uh, look back through the construction of that fantastic new ride at Pleasure Beach and how they intertwined it with all of the other rides there at the park. But uh, yeah, Thought Park's really Hi. excelled itself today. Hello, Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. Check it out. Hi, I watch your channel. Are oh, you already watching yes. there? I don't need to tell you it's Theme Park Worldwide then. She already knows. Give us our, yeah, go on, go for it. There you Bye. go, see you later. Bye. I've completely lost where I was. Swarm, there we go. But uh, yeah, the operators have been fantastic today here at the park. Very much enjoyed it. And just watching the coasters go round here, it's stunning, it really is. It's been I've beautiful. just been hugged by a strange lady who I've never met in my entire life. Did you as well? Yeah. What? She just hugged me in that Oh, oh so where's my, where's Bless her. But, uh, oh, what's it, Jane, I think it's, it's your first appearance. I don't think you get a hug when it's your first appearance. Oh. We've had, a, we've had a really nice day today, it's been lovely, but uh, yeah, hoping to get a couple of rides on it if we can. Hey, Theme Park Worldwide, you had a good day? Awesome. But uh, yeah, this area looks fantastic. Because it's been great how many people we've seen. Look at this. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, what a legend. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. And in these lighting conditions as well. Around the inclined loop just there. Wow. Let's go and get on board the Swarm for another fantastic ride here at Thorpe Park. Wow. of our day here at Thorpe Park. 
and I'm leaving the dome today really impressed with what we've seen. It's been fantastic, it's been a long day, a 12 hour day on park, which is fantastic and I definitely recommend coming down here. Even if Love Island isn't your thing, come down here to come and sit on the beach, chill out, maybe have a few drinks with some friends. It's got a really nice vibe and they're not sort of throwing Love Island at you, which I thought they might be. Yeah, there might be someone here from Love Island who you can meet, but it's certainly not like being thrown in your face if you don't like that sort of thing. Obviously, all the other extra attractions that we've done today, uh, the two different scary attractions. <laughs> Thought Park staff for the win. See you soon. Thanks for a good day. But uh, yeah, in terms of the general operations across the park, they've been great. I enjoyed Zombie Hunt, that was good. When we went through Living Nightmare, that was also uh, decent. Like, as I remembered it from Fright Night, it's not really any better, but not any worse. It was just, you know, a good scare attraction. But uh, yeah, overall, really impressed. Two night rides on the swarm just at the end uh, to wrap it up. So it's nearly, well, it's about quarter to 11 now. So it's a, it's a late departure from Thorpe Park, but it's certainly been worth it for a fantastic day here. And I'll probably come back again over summer, to be honest, in the next few weeks and, and repeat it because I've really enjoyed it today. The island was looking really good. Bit good if we didn't get on stealth, but obviously it's been down for a couple of days. Uh, by the time this vlog's on, I'd imagine they've got it back up and running again. So if you are coming over summer, obviously keep your eyes peeled on the uh, website for ride availability and the app and that sort of thing. But uh, no, really impressed with Thorpe Park. Fantastic uh, operations throughout. The Swarm did go on one train at the end there. It would have been a bit quicker if it was on two, uh, but still we didn't wait too much for the rides tonight. If you just want to come and do some night riding, come in for the last few hours. It was certainly quietened down after about seven o'clock. But uh, yeah, it's been a good day. And uh, yeah, it's been a, it's a late one, but I've really enjoyed enjoyed it 12 hours is a long time to spend in a theme park especially in the UK where we're not really used to it a lot of the time so it'll be great and I'm sure we'll be back at some point over summer and I'll probably do another vlog to be honest and do a few of the different rides we did the flats earlier on which was really good at the turnstiles we go Harry turnstiles look at those bad boys but uh, yeah nice day Krista yeah it's been lovely you yeah. enjoyed it yeah really? what's been your favorite uh, favorite ride highlights oh I've got two the night ride that we had on Swarm. Yes. And there not being any actors in The Walking Dead. Yeah, that was quite <laughs> funny earlier on. Bring on Halloween, that's all I can no. say. Yeah, I'm sure Alex will force you in some scary attractions. I'm yeah. going to say, man, before you get a chance to ask me, the swarm at night. The swarm at night, yeah, it's beautiful, wasn't it? Like, really nice. The views, you can see all the way over to, well, London, the Shard, Heathrow Airport. It is stunning, and it's a, it's a world class coaster. I love it. I'll just check your bag, well, look, Oh, no, I don't right. know about that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, overall, it's been a fantastic day. Thank you very much for watching another video here on Theme Park Worldwide. As, uh, yeah, we're, on, we're in August, aren't we now? A couple of weeks in. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of summer, isn't it, really? But so much to come on the channel as we move into Halloween. Stay tuned in the next few weeks for details on Screen Park Worldwide and uh, what's to look forward to over Halloween here on the channel. But uh, it was also great to see James earlier on, a fantastic guy. We had a great time and of course thanks to these guys as always for a great time. But uh, next vlogs on the channel, Adventure Island South End. We're actually going back up our way picking Charlotte up and then we're coming back down here we're off to uh, South End uh, and then followed by a trip to Dreamland Margate so we'll see you there for some more vlogs thank you very much for watching Theme Park Worldwide happy summer and get down here to Thorpe Park and uh, come and see them late ride closes come and enjoy yourselves that means it's time to cue those credits see you later